So you want to implement smooth scrolling into your website, especially if you are using Gutenberg. Using Gutenberg can be um, a bit of a hassle if you don't have a better, a better toolkit to complement it. Especially uh, if you're using Gutenberg or natively and you want to use smooth scrolling, sometimes Gutenberg doesn't allow you to wrap stuff. So then it becomes a bit difficult. So to use it, Motion Page has in this documentation some uh, a disk code snippet that you can use to implement smooth scrolling into your own Gutenberg website. For me, I am using Quickly as a toolkit to complement Gutenberg. And Quickly gives you the opportunity, or uh, it gives you the chance for you to wrap things around, to wrap things in divs and sections. And with these um, wrappers, you'll be able to implement smooth scrolling natively like how G-Shock wants you to do, or like how Motion Page wants you to do. So over here in the documentation, you will see that it gives, it tells you that within the body of the website, you need a main wrapper and that main wrapper should have smooth wrapper as the ID. And then you need another wrapper for the content and the wrapper sh should be smooth content. So these two wrappers are what you need to make your website turn into smooth scrolling. And if you have an experience what smooth scrolling is, I'm going to show you right now on this website. So I'm going to go over here. So this website has smooth scrolling implemented. So I'm going to scroll and then you're going to see how different it, how different it is when you're scrolling down. It feels smooth and it has a fluid nature to it. It feels more natural. It's different from if I take out, so I'm going to come and this is the main website, right? So this is the main wrapper and you can see that my ID is this. I'm going to just change this one and make it wrappers and then come into the content and change this one to make this content and then I'm going to save it. All right, so since it is say, I'm going to come here and then refresh it. So when I refresh it, this is what you see. It feels choppy. It feels like going through normal website that you might have gone through, but it, it doesn't feel natural. But if I go back and then I fix these and I also go to the main wrapper and I also fix that and I save it. And I come back and I refresh it. Now you can see that when you are scrolling, it takes a minute for it to come down. Like it gives you a more fluid and natural way of scrolling through the website rather than the normal, um, the normal chubby and abstract way that website feels. So this is how smooth sc scrolling feels when you have implemented it. But let's see how the implementation is. So I'm going back into, um, Here's my website, right? So this is how the structure is in Quickly. So just like how Greenshot has said you should, you need two devs that is going to hold your items. So this is my main div. And then the div has this ID called smooth wrapper. That's the main one. The second one has an ID called smooth content. So these are the two devs that is holding everything in here. You will also see that I do have my header in here. So there is an issue when you implement smooth scrolling and you implement, let's say a global header, sometimes it doesn't work. Yes, it doesn't work. So you might want to implement the header within the page that you're building. So instead of having a global header on, on all the pages, you can just, if let's say you want to use smooth scrolling for the front page, make sure that the front page doesn't have global header included or the global footer because most of those things do not work. So you might want to implement it directly on the page, just like how I have done over here. This worked for me. Maybe uh, it might be different for you if you try applying, let's say global header. If it works, then fine. But when I tried it, it didn't work. That's why I have my header also here. And then you can see that I have um, more space at the top and like 120 pixels at the top sometimes for some reason when you don't have space at the top what happens is that the smooth scrolling squish uh it squish the page down for some reason so i implemented this um this pattern at the top to make sure that when that happens 
it doesn't necessarily like break the website you might want to remove it to see whether it's going to work for you on your own website but when i'm using quickly i implement a bit of spacing um into into like the space up top and i'm making sure that the spacing that i am adding is not on the main wrappers that is on the the two main um the outermost wrappers the two main wrappers that they want us to use make sure that you don't implement the padding on there you implement the padding within let's say the header so that the header has the space so that um the main wrappers do not have the padding included so after you've added um the ids so this id smooth wrapper and the content wrapper the the next thing that you want to do is go into motion page so i'm going to go into the back end and i'm going to show you um, some of the things that i did here in motion emotion page one thing that um i wish um i wish motion page will implement is if i want to get to the global settings i have to create a timeline even though i do not want to create a timeline you will have to create a timeline for you to use the global um the global setting which is kind of not not cool because then you save the timeline it becomes a uh, it becomes a waste and other stuff like that so i hope they don't this blur thing doesn't blur out um the global settings so that we can just get into the global settings because that is where the smooth scrolling is so i'm just going to create um a timeline and this is a useless timeline just so you know you don't have to worry about you don't have to do nothing here but where we really want to get to is the global settings so when you toggle the global settings you're going to see you have smooth um scroll smoother over here you can turn it on and then this is what comes when you toggle on the scroll the scroll smoother so over here you can uh, determine how smooth you want your scroll to be you can make it very smooth which becomes really uh, like if you take this if you have this one all the way to 10 seconds when you scroll it's going to take 10 seconds for you for the scroll to happen like for the entire scroll to come to its fulfillment which is insane you really don't want to do that so 0 0.8 is an ideal uh is an i do like number that you can use also um there are a few things that i have toggled over here the normal scroll i toggled ignore mobile resize sometimes on mobile there's a little issue there so you can toggle that move fixed item outside the wrapper if let's say you do have like um a fixed header you can use this to try and uh, mitigate that i used it but it didn't really work so for quickly when i'm using quickly and i have like let's say global header sometimes it doesn't work and even if the global header is also sticky it will still not work so you might have to remove that so you, you can uncheck this if you want and then also smooth anchor links if you're using smooth anchor links you can also toggle this so you don't have to toggle these two things if you're not using it all right um next thing that i also want to um talk about is you can change the the class name if let's say you don't want to use the word smooth wrapper and smooth content you can use the ids that you want you can change into something else continue to um let's say quickly wrapper or quickly content you can change into that and then you can go back into um your your build and then you can change the id that you gave to the, uh, the two wrappers that are wrapping the content so after you've done this and you've toggled the settings that you want that's all you can change the ease over here and i'm using side because side is better um apart from that you don't have to do nothing and voila you do have a website that is pretty neat uh, going back over here and let's open this like a website that feels really smooth and fluid and it's not chubby it doesn't feel clunky and all of that so um there's a video on how to implement smooth scrolling in gutenberg especially if you are using um something uh a toolkit like quickly so if you're in quickly and you have motion page and you want to implement smooth scrolling i'm telling you it's a better way to uh to scroll your website than just the normal boring way to scroll your website one thing you might also have seen on this site is that i don't have a scroll bar like you know like most um things have scroll bars i do not have a scroll bar on this on this website i removed it uh, it makes a film a bit premium but removing the scroll bar uh will really 
um it's not the best thing to do so yeah you can take that with a grain of salt all right um i hope you learned something and if you ever implement smooth scrolling inside your quickly website you can tag me i i, I would really love to see how um it is on your website and if you also want to implement it in any other builder you can try it and then you can also let me know how that one went the name is nyakon thank you for watching